Hello, in this video we are going to cover the setup process for Java using the Eclipse IDE on a Mac. If you're interested on other platforms such as Windows, feel free to check out those videos. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download Eclipse. And if you just go to your web browser, Google Eclipse, then go to the website and go to get eclipse photon it might not be called photon depending on when you're actually watching this video photon is sort of like the version name so if it's different that's fine just click download click download again i'm going to cancel it simply because i've already got it downloaded and if i get rid of that you'll get this compressed file you double click it it'll extract an installer if you double click that click open and the installation process is extremely simple so there's a few different options clips IDE for Java developers Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers C++ web developers etc for what we're gonna need all we need is the clips IDE for Java developers so select that from here select the installation folder or leave it as default i've already installed it so it would actually be like that and hence why i'm getting this error that it already exists because i've already installed it we just click install go through the general process of installing as you normally would and then once you're done just launch it up so it will be in your your user directory and it'll be right here and what I actually did was I right clicked make alias and I put that into the application folder which is right here benefit of that is it means it's searchable very easily from your launch pad so if I open that and we'll just quickly create a project get it running and we'll be able to use that for our tutorials so workspace yeah just leave that as default click launch okay so go to create a new java project and from here the only thing that we need to set is the project name so i'm going to call this tutorial and click finish you leave everything else as default so with your workspace if there are other projects that were created in there they will appear in the package explorer and on the left, you have your Apache Explorer, basically your projects. At the bottom, you have sort of your console, your debug area. On the right, once we create some classes and select them, we'll see the methods all here. And we'll have the main part where we can code right here. And if we were to right click and let's say run this, it won't run because it's in selection, does not contain a main type. Specific, more specifically, it doesn't have a class and a class that has a main method. To, do, to add that, right click the SRC folder, go to new, class. From here, just name your class. I'm gonna name it Sonar Systems. Leave everything else as default. The only thing you wanna change here is this. Which method stubs would you like to create? Select the first one, public static void main. And remember you're moaning by some sort of main and this main method is the entry point to your application all java applications need a main method only one not less than one not more than one just one and this only do this when you're creating the first class or the setup for your project subsequent classes won't need this so click finish there you go and if we right click and run it now or we can just select it from here as you can see, it's successful. Nothing prints out. Let's just do a simple, you know, print line. So system dot out dot print ln. And if we put, let's say, hello world. Let's run it. Hello world gets printed out. And it is that simple to set up a Java project in Eclipse. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. 
And as usual, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Java video.